breaking news. Finland ends all hopes of extraditing the Biafran Prime Minister, His Excellency Ekpa Simon Unjoku, to the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 25th of August 2024 and I have a video for you. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very broadcast and the video that I'm about to play for you right now because a lot of things have happened already and you are going to learn big with this very video that you are going to watch. You see, here in the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, or should I say in Africa at large, this OG, the African people do not understand the true meaning of democracy and freedom fight. Whenever you fight or you talk about freedom, they say, hey, everybody will be panicking. They say you are committing crime. They say you are, you know, they tag you all manner of names, just as they have labeled Mazinam Dekano, uh, you know, a terrorist, and uh, they, they charge him for treason. Now, a democratically elected president of Finland, Alex Tube, has a word for those idiots calling for the head of the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, His Excellency Ekpa Simon Unjoku. I want you to listen to him. These are people who understand what freedom fight is all about. These are people who understand what democracy is all about. This is a civilized man, not just a civilized man, but a civilized mind. I don't want to talk too much. Let's listen to him. And after that, I will show you what the Prime Minister said concerning this very latest development. So don't go nowhere. We still have more in the kitchen. We in Finland know what it means to fight for your independence. We did it from 1939 to 1944. You are fighting for your independence. You're fighting for your rightful place with the West. I wish you, Ukraine, the best of independence. Slava Ukraini. We will listen to that again and analyze it briefly before showing you what the Prime Minister said about this. We in Finland know what it means to fight for your independence. He said we in Finland know. We in Finland know what it means to fight for your independence. This man is not even talking to Ukraine. This man is talking to Nigeria. This man is talking to Biafrans. You know why? I make bold to say that unapologetically this man is not actually directing his message to uh, you know ukraine because ukraine does not speak english i have watched the interview of the president of ukraine on several locations i've seen him spoken to the world not just to his own people but to the world with ukrainian language which finland understand because ukraine Finland, uh, all of them, they all speak, you know, uh, Rus. They speak Russian language. You understand? So they can communicate to each other with at least single Russian uh, uh, language. So why is he speaking English when Ukraine does not understand English? Ukraine does not speak English. Even their own president does not speak English. So when this man is speaking in English to Ukraine, <laughs> are you thinking what i'm thinking my people i don't want to i don't want to talk too much let's continue listening to him we did it from 1939 to 1944 we did it from 1939 to 1944 he is telling us their history which even our own prime minister read their history a couple of days ago how they fought russia to gain independence brutal war not just ordinary uh, uh, not not just a media war a brutal physical confrontation <laughs> now pay attention you are fighting for your independence you're fighting france you are fighting for your independence 
you are fighting for your rightful place in the committee of nations all around the world so you must not look back let's continue fighting for your rightful place with the west i wish you ukraine the best of independence he is wishing us the best of independence listen he's making he's mentioning ukraine remember he cannot just come to mention biafra first of all biafra has not been declared until biafra is declared on 2nd of december then he can boldly come out and mention biafra not only him every other world leader can be bold enough to come out and mention biafra that is how it is so when this man is speaking in english directing his message to us but mentioning ukraine i'm not saying he didn't talk to ukraine he's talking to ukraine as well but my dear friends brothers and sisters this man is indirectly talking to biafran people and he has completely dashed the hopes of the zoo any hope of extraditing the prime minister of the PRGIE to the zoo has been quashed this man with this singular word we in finland know what it means to fight for your independence with this singular word all hopes of extraditing the prime minister of BLGIE to the zoo has all been quashed it is finished <laughs> it is finished it is finished yeah i know wherever they are right now they are panicking they are quaking they are crying they can no longer hold their tears the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria can no longer hold their tears i want to show you one picture you see <laughs> the zoological republic this is the condition of the zoo as it stands now both the so-called mr president is panicking and crying the members of the parliament are crying the Fulani and the Northern Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom Unity Beggars are quaking. The Afonjas are running helter skater. They are having running stomach as I'm talking to you right now. Afon Asafa. Afon Asafa. Ndio Suimi. Ndio Suimi. They are quaking. Afonjas are quaking. Those Ifajunas in Ibo land, they are quaking, they are crying, they cannot hold it. The only hope of laying their filthy hands on the uh, uh, on the Prime Minister of the BLGIE, Onyechukutelu, there has been quashed. All their hopes have been quashed completely with this singular statement from the Finland president. And they are not even aware. Now, this same president is a very good friend of <laughs> the Prime Minister, Mazi Samanepa. They are not aware. Look at it here. You can see these people have been friends for very many years. It did not start from today. <laughs> they don't know. Their relationship and friendship did not start from today. They are in one party. As a matter of fact, if not the Prime Minister, if not that the Prime Minister is fully occupied with the Biafran matters, if not that, Mazi Simon Epa would have been a minister in the Finnish government as it stands today. I'm telling you, pure. If not that the prime minister is 100% occupied, his head and brain is full with the Biafran matters, and they know it. The Finland government knows it. The Finnish president knows it. If not that, Mazi Simon Epa would have been a minister serving under the federal government of Finland today because he is an expert. He is an expert. He can be a minister on the side of security. He can be a minister on the side of law because he studied. He's a lawyer. Yes, he is. He also served under the military of Finland. So he can be a minister either in the side of the law or security and that is the reality and if being appointed he will be appointed on merit because he has the experience to serve on any of these very fields that i have mentioned that is the truth because one they are in one party they have been friends and he's a professional Mazi samaneka is a professional 
and can give you very fantastic service on any of this field but people are not aware of this they don't listen this every time they are running here that's getter anyway like as i said before i don't want to talk too much let me show you of course what the prime minister said concerning this very you know latest uh, development as you can see right now on your screen this is what the prime minister said finland president alex Tub is a man that the whole world leaders should emulate listening to him congratulating ukraine for their independence anniversary and tell me does it look like finland is a country who doesn't know its history the answer is no they know their history as you had the man quoted how they fought between 1939 to 1944. now this is not just to ukraine but to the jihadists and terrorist government of the zoo called nigeria who think that fighting for freedom and defending yourself against a well-known terrorist state like nigeria is a crime wow <laughs> it don't end it don't finish so anybody thinking otherwise anybody thinking that somehow the zoo will succeed as they succeeded with mazin Namdekano, you are you are just dreaming they succeeded with Mazin Amdekano's kidnap and rendition to the zoo because Mazin Amdekano is a British citizen. And the Britain is the colonial masters of the Zoological Republic. Until today, they are still colonizing the zoo through Tinubu. Since 1960, Chambolic independence of the zoo, Britain has never left Nigeria. They are still colonizing Nigeria, whether through the military regime or civilian you know rule they are still colonizing you because they are still taking your oil taking them to britain as i'm talking to you oil is one million times you know expensive in the zoo than the uk don't tell me about the exchange rate if well is sold in uk for one pound per liter it should be sold in nigeria one naira per liter don't talk to don't even tell me about exchange rate rate because i don't want to hear that if fuel is sold one pound per liter in uk it should be sold not even one naira but 50 kobo in nigeria why must you buy fuel 1000 naira 1500 naira 900 naira per liter in the zoological republic i don't want to talk too much maybe we can touch like this during my live broadcast thank you my people i'll make it go viral